A legendary. What is up guys, Johnny here. I'm back with more Shadowgun Legends. In today's video, we look at the best legendary farming build in Shadowgun Legends. We are going to look at the skill tree and the perks you're looking for on your gear. So let's go with the skills. Since the update 0.5, you can now respec your skill tree. It is awesome, people have been waiting for that. So now, what is the best way to spend your skill points after 0.5? 11 survival, 7 agility. I know it looks weird, but it is the best way right now to spend your skill point if you're going to be farming legendaries. Why 11 points in survival and 0 in combat? Here's why. You absolutely have to spend 11 points in survival just to get the luck of the devil's kill. It is a passive skill and when it's maxed out it's gonna increase by 5% your loot chance. Description says increase your chance of finding rare items. For a very long time it was not clear what this thing do exactly. We thought at the start that it only increased the chance of enemies dropping stuff like holos and ammo but after my first video i had confirmation from madfinger games that it also increased the rarity of drops but it was still unclear if it was going to increase the legendary drops from the bosses or from the cases at the end of arena and dungeons but it was confirmed yesterday on the facebook group i took a screenshot as soon as i saw that Someone asked about the loot percentage perk on the shoulders and how exactly it works. Some guy answered, it does increase the chance of getting legendaries and epics, but the difference is pretty low. Consider 1% as a legendary drop. It's just a fiction number, by the way. But if you got 16% loot uh, on your gear and on your skill tree, the 1% becomes 1.16 because it's a percentage of the actual percentage. It's very low. That's what I explained in my last video. I will link it in the description if you want to watch it again. But it does affect the drop rates by a very small chance. Now, someone asked, Jacob or Jakub, can you confirm this? And he replied, Vingesh is correct. So I was like, wow, they never confirmed that. But all of a sudden it's on Facebook and Jacob confirms. So I emailed Anna and she also confirmed that is right. So guys, end of the discussion. It is confirmed. Loot chance, increase your chance of finding legendaries from the bosses and the dungeons. So we still took a chance on day one before it was confirmed. We thought loot percentage could increase our chance at getting legendaries. And day one, we all went 11 and 7. But why 7 and why no combat? The reason is all the great skills are in agility and 7 points will get you Supercharger and AM Bomb, the best skills for dungeons. First of all, in Silver Arena, AM Bomb and Supercharger is all you need. It's gonna kill elites fast, it's gonna do big AoE on trash mobs, it's gonna increase your clear time a lot. And all the great mobility skills are there. You get 10% extra sprint speed with the Grease Lightning passive, you get an extra 10% movement speed also. And you get the Ultra Reload. And don't ignore the first three skills on the Survival Tree. Deflector Skin is a very nice one, even for PvP players. Then you got the Super Health and the Odo Heal Boost, which is pretty good. So you got great survivability here. And if you play Ascendancy, some guys like to go with Deflector Skin and AM Bomb, which is not bad at all. You're gonna miss a bit of damage from the Combat Tree. But it's still a very nice build if you play some PvP. So it's not all PvE legendary farming. You still can play without having to respect all the time. Every time you want to go do some PvP with some friends. It's still a decent build. So when you go farming the dungeons in the endgame, it should look like that. 11 survival, 7 agility, and the two skills at the bottom, supercharger, AM bomb. Now with the skill tree out of the way, your top priority next should be loot percentage on the shoulders. You should go with the highest loot percentage as you can. It's pretty easy to find loot shoulders, but you should just go with the highest numbers that you have. But once you're ready to go, you should start farming hive mine and try to get your hands on Invictus legendary shoulders. The set of Invictus shoulders will have the highest possible loot percentage in the whole game. 
it is triple loot perks for a total of 11 percent so 11 on the shoulders plus five percent on the skill tree is gonna give you an extra 16 percent total so once you got the shoulders you can do whatever you want but the end game content has been defined by madfinger games being silver arena and hive mind they want you to farm these two because they will give you the highest possible power legendaries at 250 whatever you find there is gonna be 250 the two legendary armor sets are split between the silver arena and the hive mine and most of the weapons seem to be rotating right now in between these two dungeons so since you're going to do a lot of pve trying to find legendaries what you want to do is clear the content fast get rid of the elites get rid of the trash mobs so what's going to help you do that crit damage damage to elites so you should try to look for crit damage on your boots on your legs and on your gloves the chest does not really matter go for high health just try not to die too much and look for elite damage on your weapons and then that's it guys i know there's a lot of possibilities with the skill tree i know there's a lot of very interesting skills in the combat tree you can deal a lot of damage you have to think about it even if your whole squad go for very high damage builds but ignore the loot percentage of course you probably may be gonna clear the content a bit faster because you all have extra damage we did talk about it a little bit today on stream and we pretty much agreed that the extra luck is probably a better decision right now until you find all the legendaries you're looking for then if you want to respect for a different pvp build it's up to you guys but it's really what i recommend for finding legendaries right now so recap skill tree loot percentage then find loot shoulders then farm for the loot shoulders and then whatever you want if you like arena watch my arena guide guys because it's gonna save you a lot of time i will link it in the description also if you learn the spawn patterns this is a thing you can clear in 12 minutes consistently then hive mind there's no trick if you do it right it's another 12 minutes so it's got great loot you get a lot of purples and you will get lucky if you just keep playing legendaries will come but like i said many times the extra loot is not gonna make a huge difference guys you're not gonna see a difference and some people kind of gave up on the loot skill because they said i don't see a difference well of course you're not gonna see the difference it's not gonna be crystal clear you're not gonna start dropping a legendary every day just because you got an extra five percent on the little percentage of having a legendary but in the long run it matters if you're gonna play hours and hours and you're gonna clear these dungeons 100 200 300 times well it does matter it is going to make a little difference so good luck guys i really hope you enjoyed this video if it helped leave a like leave me a comment below don't forget to subscribe to the channel turn on your notifications and watch my other videos i'll be back soon take care uh -oh. okay it's dead so I think Yatuku's gonna do the distraction so we can stay behind the glass and get free hits. He's almost done. Oh, that was gross. Got a guy on you. Oh my god. You okay bro? Yeah. You had a guy on you. Oh, he died. Yeah, I'm gonna go get him. He's almost you done. He you going? Yeah, yeah. You can just finish him. He's very almost done. We had untouchable until the end, huh? Yep. That was a nice run, though. Thirteen, nineteen. Yeah, 13. Oh, legendary! Nice. What is it? The gloves. Oh, really? Yeah, dude. Nice. Feels good, man. What do they have? I'm gonna He's check. I think it's not good, though. Yeah, it How sucks. It it's pickup radius, melee resist, assault rifle accuracy, and damage to elites. The damage no to way, elites really? is good. Yeah, it's not great. But it's still good to drop a leggy.